baby weary Young girls, they do get weary When she's weary, try a little tenderness. Oh, oh, you won't regret, no, no. All you gotta do is try a little. to do the same thing you did to me two years ago in January uh -huh. when I sang for you at the Color Purple party. Uh -oh. <laughs> We're done. Please leave your pants on. You sang me right up out the chair. You know that, Sit right? Sit down. <laughs> She took my shoe. <laughs> okay, I still gotta throw it, because my yeah. that's a hard shoe, though. <laughs> now, where I come from, y'all, that's a compliment. And we know at times when you sing like that, you better be prepared to do what? Duck. Yes. Wait and get Miley's shoe, hold <laughs> on. And my notebook. <clears throat> you can keep my shoe if I can be your coach. All right, here we go. Thank you, my lady. That's a hard shoe, child. No, do not touch my stuff. Oh! Thank you, it's all free. What's your name? My name is Chris Weaver. All right, I would love nothing more than have you on my team and do something different, and you want a coach that you can trust. And I know that we could be there for each other and make the right decisions. I am so thirsty to win. I want to win, and I'll do it with you. Um, Chris, because I am extremely passionate about you, I want to know what you want. I grew up singing in church, but I think I'm ready to expand and do something different. I'm a worship leader, uh, but I'm also a drag queen. Yes! Oh. Yes! Can no, I say no, something? No, no, no. no. Hold on, hold on, hold on now. Let uh. me say this to you. You just said two things that I can relate to. I grew up in a church, church singer. And my first experience, I used to go to the East of the Ryan. I'm sure the Chicagoans in that world would know this. I would go and watch the, all the queens perform. Yes. And that's who taught me first. So I can totally re relate to that in every way. Yes, you come from church, but God gave you that voice to sing far and beyond. I can help get you there here at Team J. Hood. Thank you. How you doing, Chris? Great, how are you, Blake? I want you to consider this. I have won this show with country artists, pop artists, R&B, but I've never won the show with a drag queen. <laughs> but, <laughs> look, today's my birthday. No, it's not. It's literally it not, not his not birthday. It is not his birthday. It you can't my... just say it's your birthday. Listen. Google it. Okay, fair enough. 
<laughs> but it was my birthday, and you didn't get me crap. <laughs> Chris, you could make this the greatest birthday <laughs> of my life. No, if you would choose me as right. your coach. I want to say something real quick. Please. I got to tell you something, man. I constantly battle for my team. You're the first person that's ever auditioned that's giving us an opportunity, not the other way around. You're a phenomenal singer, but you're even more special than that to me. So. I'm not going to rule myself out because I don't ever go with the expected. That's what Team Miley represents. And I think I could make sure we pick the right songs because that's what really takes you to the top. I was here on season 11, and that's something I learned. And I want to be behind you. Be Team Miley, come on. Can I say one more thing? You have the voice, that's undeniable. But the bigger part of the equation is having a plan and having the business sense to get there. And I feel like I have that plan and that vision because I've walked that path. Chris, who do you think is your coach, man? Because we are in such a similar place. Ah. Come on. I have to go with Jay Hood. Go! 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 Go!